beautiful image here of this uh, feather star or unstocked crinoid. This is a really interesting image, Daniel, and I wonder if the crinoid landed and uh, irritated uh, the polyps there, and that's why there's no longer any tissue in the underneath it where that uh, crinoid theory are. Yeah, no, and it just reminded me of uh, all these discussions we've been having about some of these unbranched corals that are sometimes branched, and uh, maybe crinoids or other animals could facilitate that by uh, clearing this little section, and then something could settle on it. Exactly. I'm so glad you said that. That's uh, precisely what I was thinking. You know, when we were having these discussions on other dives, and we speculated that perhaps there's something that damages the tissue, it exposes part of the skeleton, and then as the tissue grows back, uh, perhaps it starts a new growth axis that results in a branch. So uh, clearly the need here is to dislodge that crinoid and then come back in 30 years and see if there's a branch. <laughs> That's quite an experiment, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs>